Now, recently, a large number of Georgia Farm Bureau members gathered on the UGA campus for the 37th annual Commodity Conference held at the Georgia Center. The group's got a chance to talk about recent challenges among the various commodities and look at new opportunities in the ag industry. The policy development process for the Georgia Farm Bureau got underway for the next year. 20 different areas of the state's number one industry represented at the annual gathering, including aquaculture, cotton, beef, equine, and poultry, just to mention a few. Before the committee members got down to business, producers had a chance to hear from some key faculty members at the university. Dr. Sheila Allen, dean of the UGA Vet School, gave attendees a look inside veterinary medicine and the important connection to the work farmers do on a day-in, day-out basis. We are here to provide veterinary services from our hospital and also out in the field. But not only is that important for animal agriculture, but it's also important educationally for us because we've got to provide the training for our students to be functional practitioners when they graduate. And so I would encourage farmers in Georgia to use our services, um, not only to help them, but it helps us also. Dr. Allen told us her department was most excited about the new animal hospital, a $97 million facility. We can provide more services at that facility. We can see more patients at that facility, and we have the ability to add some farm practice vehicles and uh, different services that we weren't able to do before. That's one thing. Secondly, uh, we can increase our enrollment now. Uh, at the old facility, we were just way too crowded, and now we've started to ramp up our enrollment a little bit, so that will provide more veterinarians for Georgia. One of the key speakers on this year's program was Dr. Jeffrey Dorfman, professor of agricultural and applied economics at UGA. Not as much since we won't have an incumbent. When you have an incumbent, it predicts a lot. A good economy tends to get you reelected. But since nobody who's running right now, I mean, unless Joe Biden gets in, we won't have somebody who can kind of claim it's they did that. So I think it's just going to be a non-factor. If you look at the historical data, it's true. Uh, you actually do the best when you have a Democratic president and a Republican Congress. Uh, second best is a Republican president and a Democratic Congress. So the real story is you do better when we've got split government and, and they can't get as much done. Dorfman said farmers and producers working even harder for their return given today's economy. Was that returns per acre keep going down and what farmers have done as a response is they keep getting bigger. So instead of forming 500 acres you go to 600, 800, 1,000 and, and that's how people make a living. They just have to keep getting bigger so that they keep their household income where they want it to be. And at lunch the presentation of the 2015 Commodity Award went to Dr. John McKissick a nationally recognized economist. McKissick became the extension coordinator for the College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences until he retired in 2010. <laughs> and as is customary, following the award ceremonies, each commodity group broke into their individual meetings as they kick off the policy development season.